Four years ago, I made a leap of faith and opened up a permanent makeup studio. I still remember at the time, people were telling me that it's not a good idea, that I should keep my job and focus on having stability first. It was a scary ass leap. This was going to be my livelihood. I would be lying to you guys if I said that it's been everything that I wanted and more. No. I've wanted to quit so many times. Even though it's been tough, entrepreneurship has been one of the most incredible challenges that I feel like I've been gifted with. I know that looking back on life one day, I'm not gonna regret making that leap. Fast forward to now, I'm living a life that I didn't even know was possible for myself. I have complete freedom over my life and my work, my schedule. I can travel when I want. I get to be creative. I love what I do and I get to work with incredible people. And guys, if I can do it, I promise you can too. I'm gonna share with you exactly how to become motivated, embrace your fears, and how to start your dream side hustle or passion project. Do you know what the fastest way to kill your dreams are? It's listening to people who are too afraid to chase theirs. The first thing you guys have to do is to ignore realistic people and the doubters. For me, that was my parents. I recently had my mom slip up. She said to my face, Well, this is the best that your business is gonna get. I don't see how it's gonna grow any more than this. Bombastic side eye. When the people in your lives say these things to you, don't take it personally and don't turn it into anger. What she was saying was not a reflection of me. It wasn't a reflection of how my business was doing. It was a projection of her own fear. That is such a false image to project onto ourselves. And if we continue to listen to people who are doubters, who are realists, no matter how much we love them or they love us, it's going to crush your dreams. You have to take action without always getting permission. Prove to yourself, I can do this. At the end of the day, it's up to you to prove to yourself that you are worthy of your dreams and that you are capable of making them a reality. Hey y'all, I wanted to pop in really quickly and just emphasize that my family is my biggest support system, hands down. Without them, my business would not be possible. My mom is truly my ride or die. I know she has my back. So despite her or my parents saying the darnest things sometimes, parents are humans too. They make mistakes. They say shit that they don't mean. I just wanted to pop it in here because I didn't want to make it seem like they don't support me because they do. All right, back to the regularly scheduled program. If you have dreams of starting a business or starting a side project or even starting a YouTube channel, you're going to have to watch your expenses. I remember when I graduated college, I took on a role with AmeriCorps, which is essentially a national volunteer program. And they give you a stipend of $10,000 a year, as well as food stamps to buy groceries. And at the time, that was the biggest struggle for me. But looking back, that was also one of the biggest blessings because it allowed me to live below my means and feel comfortable having less so that when I was starting my business and taking that risk, I didn't really feel like I had anything to lose. If you want to start a business or a side hustle, you're definitely going to need savings. And not only do you need savings, you're also going to have to start watching your expenses. That way, if you have any current income coming in, you can use that money and funnel it towards starting your dream side project. Start to plan what are all of the different expenses and things that you need to buy. Write it all down, come up with a number, and then start start saving towards that number. You gotta have some skin in the game. When you realize that you have something to lose, you will go hard. What really pushed me to start my permanent makeup business was that I invested $3,000 into my first PMU training and then another $5,000 into a business coach. At the time, that was all of my savings. And because my savings was on the line, it meant that I had to make it happen no matter what. When you haven't taken any action or have any skin in the game yet, you wonder a lot. What if this goes wrong? What if it doesn't work out? And a lot of the fear kicks in. But when you actually invest something and you're sacrificing something, you start to ask yourself, okay, what do I need to do to make this happen? You start to think about the solutions rather than all of the problems. And then on top of that, because I had a business coach, I had accountability. Every week I had to meet with her and tell her what were the goals that I hit this week. And that really helped hold me accountable. What is something that you can do to show the universe 
universe that you're actually committed to this and you're actually willing to sacrifice and give up something in order to work towards that bigger dream of yours. You are going to need to move at the speed of light. If you give yourself a year to start something, it will take a year. But if you give yourself two weeks to do something, it will take you two weeks. In my permanent makeup business, I also do trainings. And whenever I meet my students, at the end of class, I always remind them, the most important thing for you to do right now is just to work on your very first client. And I want you guys to do that within the next two weeks. And the reason I give them a two week mark is because past two weeks, fear will start to kick in, doubt will start to kick in, and they're not gonna feel as motivated anymore. So I always tell them like, within two weeks, find your first model, then find your next model within the next two weeks and continue to do that until one day you're gonna look back and you're gonna have a portfolio of 50, 100 models. And by then you have a real business. So I challenge you, if you have an idea or you have something in your heart that you really wanna do, write down the steps of what you need to take and then just get started. Do not inundate yourself with busy tasks that are not really important. Don't do the little things that don't actually move your business forward. Instead, ask yourself, what are the major things that I'm anxious about getting started that I know if I get done, my business will take off? Is it setting up a meeting with your accountant or looking for a lawyer or calling that insurance company and getting insurance for your business? Like these are things we don't wanna do but are important and you know that once you have a set up, your business will thrive. So what are those things? And then get started with them. This is probably the most important point that I'm gonna make in this entire video. Stability is a fallacy. I learned about this belief from a serial entrepreneur named Tim Ferriss. Basically, he said that it's actually less risky to go after the big dreams. He explained how competition is actually way higher in stable nine to five jobs. The reason for this is that realistic goals feel more achievable. Because of that, the majority of society will go after the same kinds of jobs. They're gonna look for things that give them a sense of stability. They're going to earn that degree that is more useful. But because of that, it's creating more competition in these pools of jobs and industries. On the other hand, things like starting a business or a passion project, that's daunting, that's scary. And while many people say things like, oh, I wish I could do that, or that's something that I would like to do, not that many people actually get started. Because of that, starting a business, starting passion projects, or industries that feel more risky are actually less competitive. So if you're someone who is willing to get started, you actually have a competitive advantage at succeeding. I truly believe that if you have a dream in your heart and something that you wanna go after, I believe that 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 dream was placed in you for a reason and it would be such a shame if you didn't chase it and at least try to go after it. Life isn't just about the end point, it's really about the journey and ask yourself which journey do you want to be on. I encourage you to really open back up that business plan that you've been thinking about for the longest time and I challenge you for the next two weeks, can you take action to make that dream a reality? It really doesn't matter how old you are or where you are in life, it's not too late. And even if you don't feel the most confident right now, even if you don't believe in yourself right now, I believe in you and I know you can do it. If you guys want to hear all about how I actually started my microblading business and the journey that I went through to make that dream come true, go ahead and click here and watch the next video. Peace.